Good afternoon and welcome. It is so nice to see half of your faces, all of you people that are here. I'm Matt Greer, I'm the music director here at St. John's. Welcome to a live concert. We should not take this for granted. So thank you, thank you so much for coming out for this afternoon's concert and clap for yourselves already, please. I want to give a well more, well more, let me start that sentence again. I want to give a warm welcome to everybody in the room and also people who are joining us at home or wherever you're sitting by live stream. This is a new aspect to everything we're doing around here. And of course, St. John's is not alone in that. But uh, almost every concert that we can, we are doing in addition to live, we're doing by live stream. And so this is going out to our YouTube channel. If you're enjoying this at home, please say hello in the chat. If you're tuned in from someplace else, let us know where you're tuned in from. And I have to say that the only reason that this works as well as it does is because of the fantastic staff we have here and Nicole Creaturo at the soundboard and the live stream back there makes all of that happen. So thank you so much, Nicole. Also, if you're at home, there's a link that you can click on in the chat box that will take you to the printed program. There's a link that will take you to today's artist's website if you want to know more about them. Um, this is the second concert of our Music at St. John season, and when we started to plan this season, when it started to become apparent that maybe we could do live performances again, we decided we wanted to invite back our friends and our favorite people. So that's what this whole season is about. The next concert after today is happening on Sunday, the 21st of November at 2 o'clock when we'll welcome back a fantastic concert organist, Elsie Chris. We hope you'll come back for that. I'd also mention that right now going on, uh, in addition to events like this, is we are doing live stream concerts on Thursdays at noon uh, during the months of October and November. Those are entirely live stream on our YouTube channel, both to continue to put music out and to raise up our partnership with Albuquerque Healthcare for the Homeless. So if you're sitting at your desk this Thursday or eating your lunch, tune in to our YouTube channel and you'll enjoy a fantastic concert by a wonderful local singer singer-songwriter Oscar Butler. We hope that you'll tune in for that. Um, this series, which was started way back in 2005 from the very beginning, has been funded entirely by you, by the people who come to the concerts and their generous, generous donations. So I want to first of all thank the wonderful, smart, brilliant, good-looking people whose names are on the back of the program today. Those are our notables, and if you look at that list of names and are sad not to find your name there, we would love to add your name to that list. If you're sitting in the room, there's a yellow insert that you can fill out and drop on your way out. You can make a gift in honor or memory of someone and that supports the entire series. If you're at home, there is a link that you can click on that will take you right to our donate page and so we hope you'll take advantage to that. Whether you enroll to be a notable today, we hope that on your way out you will give generously to the ushers who are holding collection plates as again, that's how this series is funded. Also following the concert, our artists will have CDs for sale in the hospitality center right across the narthex. So stop and say hello to them and buy them out of all of their merchandise. And then after you buy a CD, if you take a sharp right outside the building, there'll be cookies and punch there. So we hope that you'll enjoy that safely outside and be able to speak to each other. And if you're sitting at home, you might break out whatever cookies you have in the cupboard, I guess. Um, Back in March of 2020, I think it was long about uh, St. Patrick's Day, one of the first unfortunate calls I had to make to, um, to somebody to say, hey, we're kind of closing down for the near future, were to Stephanie Bettman and Luke Halpin, who were to do a concert on our series, I think their third appearance on our series, on the 29th of March, 2020. So as soon as things looked good, the first call that I placed was to Stephanie and Luke to say, let's get this done. And so we are so happy they are with us today and and that we can finally be enjoying them and having them back. So would you please welcome Bettman and Halpin. We brought our own clappers with us. <laughs> oh, it's good to see you guys. Thank you for being here. We will enjoy your smiling faces, <laughs> your smiling eyes. I don't have my glasses on. I can't actually tell if you're smiling or crying. So be loud. <laughs> Yes, 
Huntsville and my heart is feeling light Traveling down the highway in the middle of the night Fiddle in the back seat and my eyes upon the road I am eastbound to Westville, Oklahoma's in my soul Been living in the city Hoping for my dreams to grow so many people all together in one place they get too scared to say hello been living in the city scraping for my piece of pie crowded lonely among strangers till i can't remember why i am eastbound to westville all my troubles left behind further down the road Go the easier my mind. Fiddle in the back seat and my eyes upon the road. I am eastbound to Westville, Oklahoma's in my soul. to know he gave his heart and hand to me so many years ago here he's on his own again and I know how that can be remembering his honest smile will he remember me I am his bottle Westville with a longing in my heart what is there for me to do but make another start? Fiddle in the back seat of my eyes upon the road. I am eastbound to Westville, Oklahoma's in my soul. the girl I was back then to my heart I will be true I am eastbound in Westville and my hopes are riding high stars are fading back into the orange yellow sky fiddle in the back seat of my eyes upon the road I am eastbound to Westville I am eastbound in Westville and my hopes are riding high Stars are fading back into the orange yellow sky. Fiddle in the back seat and my eyes upon the road. I am eastbound to Westville. Eastbound to Westville. goodness it's my favorite sound in the world one more time Luke <laughs> you mean something cool uh, is not ready to happen something real cool it's like he's gonna play the bass and the guitar at the same time so um ah <sighs> Are you as not used to this anymore as I am? Are you guys sitting out there going, oh my gosh, I forgot how to be an audience. Are you? I see some heads, yeah, yeah. I didn't forget, but wow. This is not the same as sitting in your living room, crunched in front of a little camera, imagining you all there. This is very different. This is better. We're gonna do a tune uh, that, um, we didn't write. 
Right off the bat, second tune in a row, one we didn't write. Unprecedented. Unprecedented. Well, we moved to Denver a long time ago. Some of you know us, some of you probably don't. Raise your hand if you don't know us, if, if you're just here because you know the series. And, well, welcome, it's nice to meet you. I'm Stephanie, this is Luke. And uh, we moved from Los Angeles to Denver quite a few years ago, and what we didn't know when we moved to Denver, among many things that we didn't know, was that John Denver still is alive and well in Denver. <laughs> So after a certain amount of time when you're a musician and you don't play any John Denver songs, they start to like leave ugly packages on your doorstep and they start to send you threatening notices about you need to move somewhere else. Scary up there. I know, well it's tough. Yeah, so we learned a John Denver song. Learned some heartwarming John Denver songs. That's right. Come after you. Pretty much. Feel free to sing along if we ever start. Country roads take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia, mountain mama, take me home. Country heaven West Virginia Blue Ridge Mountain Shenandoah River Life is old there Older than the trees Younger than the mountains Flowing like a breeze Country road around her miner's lady stranger to blue water dark and dusty painted on the sky misty taste of moonshine teardrops in my eye country road
Thank you. I need to reteach myself how to breathe. Yeah. I always notice how much drier it is here when we come back. Isn't this the cutest little water bottle you've ever seen? So we're gonna do a brand new song for you guys, because why not? So um, as you know, <laughs> the world shut down a year and a half ago. And, um, and we lost our jobs. <laughs> we, we had lots of tours cancel. And one of the first things our agents said to us, besides buck up, was, uh, <laughs> you know, Shakespeare wrote King Lear while there was the plague going on. <laughs> hint, hint. Well, you know, with that kind of pressure. We wrote a three-minute song. I wrote, <laughs> this is not my King Lear, but it's a nice little ditty. <laughs> this is brand spanking new, ink still drying. Uh, hasn't been recorded, but we just want to share it with you guys as evidence that, you know, something. we wrote something. <laughs>
We did one other thing in the year and a half that has passed. <laughs> we, uh, thank we're thankful to um, the churches up in Denver that kept us at least working a little bit and a little bit of money coming in. And um, so we do some services fairly regularly with a couple of different churches up there. And every time it's coming close, it's always this sort of juggling act of, okay, what's your sermon going to be? What are we going to play? And um, we work with this one, one guy who, who good, does great sermons, but whenever he sends me his description, it always it's, it sounds like reading a textbook, and I sometimes am left completely clueless as to what kind of music that's asking for. So that happened one time, and so I just bounced it back to him, and I said, well, do you have something in mind for this? And he said, well, could you play Amazing Grace? I was like, oh, the obvious choice, <laughs> okay. So then we were working on it, and I get bored easily. Yes, um, she does. Yeah. So, so we were working it up, and I was like, no, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. I have to change it. So luckily, it's public domain, so I can change it. So I did change it. So don't sing along. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now. was grace that taught my heart to fear and grace that fear relieved how precious did that grace appear the hour I first believed We'd like to invite the choir to join us on this next one. Uh, 
I have to say, it was such a thrill to get the call from Matt for a year ago last March that we were going to get to sing with a choir again. Um, it, is, it is so amazing. You cannot know how it feels, but let me tell you, it's like being lifted up on all of these voices, and it's just a dream and heaven and wonderful. So um, when that show was canceled, I was very, very sad. But we get to do it now, thanks to Matt Greer and our beautiful choir. This is a song I wrote called Feels Like Coming Home. There is something in the feeling of being taken as you are, of a love without condition, as special as a star. There is something in the feeling of you can do no wrong that fills the heart with joy and makes the spirit strong feels like coming home to a home i've never known where the need to do and prove simply falls away like stone and all there is to do is nothing more than be and the person that you know Nothing less than me. There is something in the feeling of you are not alone that makes me full of gladness and makes the heart feel known. There is something in the feeling of a generous laugh of the motion in the river of a well-worn gravel path that feels like coming home to a home i've never known where the need to do and prove simply falls away like stone Hurry. 
person that you know is nothing less than me. The person that you know is nothing less than me. Thank you. <laughs> it's not on the list. I'll see what I can do. I know it's a big tease to put it out there, but I knew you'd be here, Tom. <laughs> For now, you're going to have to get mandolin. way cooler than the banjo. Mm. Way. Mm. I started playing this instrument when I was eight years old. The size of it made more sense then, you know? My left hand has literally grown, formed around this thing, and I think it's fascinating. You ready? I'm ready. Good. Luke wrote that. That's called Button Willow. That's his award-winning instrumental. <laughs> I was just going to do the next one. What do you think? Shocking. 
I know. I really didn't expect that to be uh, well, what she was going to do. Well, I know do. it's unusual for me. <laughs> but uh, maybe it's the altitude. Watch out, she's sticking to the set list. So, I used to be a trapeze artist. <laughs> I know that's a little bit of a non sequitur. Except that it's not, because we're gonna do this song that I wrote that was inspired by a circus cemetery. How often do you hear those words? <laughs> I wonder how many there are in the world, circus cemeteries. I should make a tour of the circus cemeteries. I can tell you there's one in Hugo, Oklahoma, because that's the one that inspired this song. So back before this happened, <laughs> I was living in Los Angeles trying to be a movie star. And um, I got a little distracted by the aerial arts trapeze. It's hoop, rope. Circus is pain. That's what they used to say, all my friends in the circus. Circus is pain, but the thing is, it's so fun you don't care. So anyway, I gave it all up for music. And uh, a few years later, we got hired to play this gig in Hugo, Oklahoma. And we came to learn that Hugo, Oklahoma is uh, Circus City, USA, which was a surprise. I had no idea until we drove into town. And so I was asking what the deal was. And they actually have two circuses that winter in Hugo. Of course, we were there in the spring, so we didn't see any circuses. It's all a rumor, as far as we know. But I asked our hostess, what is there to do in town when the circus isn't around? And she said, well, hmm, I guess the most interesting thing to do is to go to the cemetery. You know you're in a small town when that's the answer. <laughs> Not even the mall, the cemetery. So I took myself to the cemetery. I was wandering around and, and you know, uh, it was pretty much what you would expect. And then I got to this certain section of the cemetery and there were all these little cement elephants kind of scattered throughout the headstones. And I thought, well, that's different. And I started looking closer at the headstones and there were carvings of high wire walkers and jugglers and trapeze artists. My people, there they were. This is a section in the cemetery known as Showman's Rest. And it was purchased by one of the circus managers years ago because circus people are notorious gypsies and they have nowhere to go when they pass on. So I wandered around and looked at all the inscriptions and headstones and well, there was this one monolith with this man carved in it. He had the top hat and the big handlebar mustache and his name was Strong John. And at the bottom it said, he had more friends than Santa Claus. So, that trip inspired this song. This is called Flowers and Stone. If you go to Hugo, you'll notice it's rare history. The sound on the breeze of the hum and the squeeze of a faraway calliope. If you go to Hugo, magic is hanging in the air with the catcher's release and a last rest in peace the circus takes its final curtain there flowers and stone you is 
now everlasting, eternally known. Flowers and stone, you're finally home. Through tears and through laughter, you're here. Tell strong John I say hello The flying Latinos Are balanced evermore With no net below There lies the wheeze Of the swinging trapeze Famed for her triple to the bar now she's spinning the breeze as she hangs from her knees and circles a falling star. Flowers and stone, you're finally home. Through tears and through laughter, you're here. No more to Popcorn sacks and wagon tracks. The circus is gone. Flowers and stone, you wandered alone. Love that was passing. Tears and through laughter, you're here ever after, no more to roam. Through tears and through laughter, you're here ever after, no more to roam. Thank you. Sometimes it's just a list of things you cannot seem to do. Sometimes it's a broken heart that's overwhelming you. Sometimes you don't know what it is. Sometimes it's very clear. I wrote down these words just for you to hear. Don't let it get you down. There's a world out 
outside your door that keeps on spinning round and round. No need to understand things you can't control. Listen to the sound of your voice, soul, and don't let it get you down. Find yourself wide awake in the middle of the night, fighting a war or confused by life. Talk to your heart if you cannot find a prayer. The troubles of life are something that we all share. Inside your door that keeps on spinning around and around. No need to understand things you can't control. Listen to the sound of your soul. Don't let it get you down. Outside your door, it keeps on spinning round and round. No need to understand things you can't control. Listen to the sound of your soul. Don't let it get you down. Don't let it get you down. Let it get you down. Don't let it get you down. Thank you. Maybe not. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> ah, the banjo. The banjo. Raise your hand if you love the banjo. Raise it's your hand if you hate the banjo. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, my mother. She's not a fan. Apparently, you're the only non-fan here. You know, Amazing. I'm on your side. But they make me do it. I don't understand it. But everything's gonna go fine. It's gonna be fine. I'm gonna do a quick little sweat removal. Well, thank to you my for life. sharing that, Luke. I'm so glad. Yeah. So this banjo is um, it's from Texas. It likes um, tumbleweeds and long walks in the rain. It's um, it's single. If you're looking. Aren't they all? <laughs> got a bit of a twang, if you're okay with that. Is this sort of in tune to your fiddle? <laughs> I don't know. Close enough. Depends on which notes I play, Luke. Yeah, it's close enough for banjo music. Thank you. 
Thank you. The banjo never sounded so good. We actually played that tune once in a show in, in Denver, and somebody came up to Luke afterwards, and he was like, well, I didn't know you were going to play it like an electric guitar. <laughs> There's some real banjo snobs in Denver. We're going to share some songs that were inspired by work we did with Kids in Crisis in the Denver area not long after moving there. We got um, introduced to this man who was on the board of an organization called the Tennyson Center for Children. And he liked the songs that we wrote and he wanted to introduce us to that organization. So he took us over there and gave us a tour and introduced us to the CEO. And at the end of our little tour, I turned to our new friend and I said, so um, yeah, this is a good place. I mean, it, it, it's the Rocky Mountain region's largest center um, for neglected kids. And it's a children's home and a school and, um, and a center for therapy for a lot of those kids and their families if their families are in the picture. Anyway, um, uh, after our tour, I turned to our friend and I said, well, what did you want with a couple of songwriters? And uh, he said, well, you know, there really aren't any good songs about neglected kids. <sighs> I was hoping you might write one. Like, wow. The things I inspire. So I said, well, we'll see what happens. And what happened was two years of volunteer work there where we worked with the kids and we did workshops and all kinds of amazing experiences which led to a bunch of songs. Many of them are on our fourth CD, which is called Diamond. Um, and this is one of the songs that actually didn't quite make it onto that CD. This is on our newest CD, which is called A Thousand Miles. This was inspired by the kids themselves. We had done a workshop with them, and um, they were going to be creating little theater pieces at the end of this five-week workshop, and we'd just done a bunch of exercises with the oldest kids, and we were sitting down, and the counselor was saying, hey, what'd you get from this, and what'd you like? And one of the kids piped up, and he's probably about 16, and he said, you know, I was really angry when I got here, and I did not want to be here. He said, but then I feel like I was able to move through my anger. He said, it's almost like I have a million hearts. And I heard that and I went, what? And then this little gal sitting next to him said, oh, wouldn't it be cool if you could have a million hearts and you could give them all away? And I was blown away by that. These kids were not who I thought they were. They were selfless and profound. And they were songwriters, and they didn't even know it. So at the end of five weeks, they did their performances. We did this song for them. This is called A Million Hearts. Ooh la la, ooh la la, ooh la 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 la. Ooh la la, ooh la la, ooh la 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 la. If I had a million hearts, I would give them all away to the broken-hearted people that you see from day to day. If I had a million hearts, I would give a heart to you. Then you'd know how much I love you, and our tears would all be through. So many people Walking through their lives, you never notice the pain they hold inside. But don't try to get too close. They will run or fall apart. For the tears that have been buried are still carried in our hearts. If I had a million hearts, I would give them all away to the broken-hearted people that you see from day to day. If I had a million hearts, I would give a heart to you. Then you'd know how much I love you. And our tears would all be Love must be earned 
Now I've spent so many years trying to undo the learning of the pain and doubt and fear. If I had a million hearts, I would give them all away to the brokenhearted people that you see from day to day. If I had a million I love you and our tears would all be through if I had a million hearts I would give them all away to the broken-hearted people that you see from day to day if I had a million hearts I would keep one heart for me then I'd know how much you love me and I'd finally be free Oh, ooh la la, ooh la la, ooh la 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 la. If I had a million hearts, ooh la 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 la. If I had a million hearts, ooh la 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 la. If I had a million hearts, ooh la 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 la. So another song that came from that work is the title track of that fourth CD. And it is actually the song that I wrote for those kids. And we are thrilled to have a choir backing us up on this song. This is called Diamond. Who cause you pain To feel as though you've gone insane To 
struggle with the heaviness of home to be the one to stand your ground to know what's right and not back down to have the strength to make it on your own i am alive i will survive the heart's the strongest muscle guys doing good okay because y'all look like this <laughs> you never know it works better if the microphone's not in front of you oh yeah oh too late anyway <laughs> What a ridiculous thing this is, isn't it? It's just ridiculous. Oh, well, maybe this is just how we live now. We have to learn how to be super expressive with our eyes. <laughs> so for those of you who are new to us, raise your hand if you're new to us. Oh, quite a few of you. Hello. Nice to meet you. Thanks for being here. Um, we have a cool and no contact way. You can join our email list if you're interested. If you're interested, take out your cell phone. Your smartphone. I know that's like taboo in a live performance and in a church, no less, we're probably all gonna be smited. But anyway, take out your cell phones if you wanna join our email list. And if you do join our email list, you'll get some free songs for your trouble. And you'll get notified when cool new things are happening, like we release a new single, like Amazing Grace that we did earlier in the set is a single that we released on streaming platforms everywhere. So if you do that, check us out. Um, also, you will get notified about our new record, which is someday going to be finished. <laughs> Maybe even someday soon. And we're super excited about that. We'll share some songs from that soon. So if you've got your cell phone open, um, lift it up. Let me see. Let me see. So open up your texting app. Good. I see some lights. Wouldn't it be fun if this were dark and you guys could get your little, your little flame on there and we could have a rock and roll moment? That would be fun. So open up your texting app. You're going to send a text to this number. So in the two window, type 33777. And you guys can be doing it in the choir too if you want to. No, they're so trained. They're like, oh, I don't have my cell phone on me. Are you crazy? We got Matt to deal with. So you're texting to the number 33777. You're going to text my last name, which is Bettman, B-E-T-T-M-A-N. So put that in your message area, B-E-T-T-M-A-N. Do not let spell check get a hold of it. My name is not Batman. It is Bettman, two T's, one N. Send that off. You will get a response that says, ooh, look at you, all high tech and cool, wanting to join Bettman and Halpin's email list. What is your email? So then you'll type in your email and you'll send that off. And when you get a response that says, kazam, you're in. You're in. So then you can relax. If you have a Samsung, uh, just come and talk to us. We have a paper uh, thing you can sign later on. All right. Ooh, let's do some more music, shall we? 
Thank you, Luke, for that accompaniment. That's a groovy little tune you created. <laughs> Marketing goes down easier with music, you know? It sure does. Everything does, really. Everything does. This is the part of the show where I have no idea what's happening next. Um, no. Oh! Sing. I'm going to sing another song. That's exciting. Exciting. I get to sing two songs today. I, I don't think I have time for all three, Tom. Sorry. I'm going to do the last of the three. On October 1st, I uh, celebrated 13 years of sobriety. Uh, hey, thank you. And I, I have uh, an EP, I guess we call it these days, a little trio of songs. It's available on our website for download that's sort of about this topic and my life and I'm just gonna play the last of the three because it's it's the most fun you know you can just guess about the first two yeah. <laughs> the first one uh, that you're not gonna hear tonight was written while I was still drinking about drinking the second one song that you're not gonna hear today was <laughs> right when I decided to it was definitely time to quit drinking and this song was written a year uh, after I quit drinking the place where I am going No one has ever been place where I am going no one has ever been I am the captain of a ship floating in the desert sand there's water in the distance Saying catch me if you can I am the king of a castle Built on the ocean floor And I am standing on a drawbridge Knocking at my door The place where I am going No one has ever been The place where I am going No one has ever been of the circus in a pup tent downtown. I walk upon the wire and I even play the clown. I am the general of an army. All the soldiers look the same. And I am not a child. And this is not a game. The place where I am going. No one has ever been. The place where I am going. Father. I am not the Prince of Peace. I've rubbed shoulders with the devil, and the Father still loves me. And I am on a journey with a never changing plan. When I get where I am going, I know who I am, the place where I am going. No one has ever been the place where I am going. No one has Yeah. 
Thank you. This next song we're going to do is, um, it's a song we wrote for a friend. We were living in Los Angeles and just got some tours into the Midwest. We, for the first time ever, got some shows in Kansas, Western Kansas to be specific. And uh, I had never been to Kansas at the time. I'd only heard the rumors. <laughs> and Western Kansas, by the way, does not disappoint. Um, it is as flat as you can possibly imagine. In fact, there's nothing to hold down the dirt. We got caught in a, snow st or a, in a sandstorm there one time. Just stayed inside our hotel. So anyway, um, we were driving out from Los Angeles to Kansas, and I thought, well, what else can we find out there, other gigs we can play? So I put out some feelers, and I heard back from this couple that were starting up a little uh, house concert in a bed and breakfast in Winfield, Kansas. And they said, would you like to come play our series? And so I looked on my trusty Google Maps, and I saw it was only five hours farther east from where we were already going to be. So I said, sure. So we went out. We drove that extra five hours to get to Winfield. A lot can change in five hours. There were even some hills. There was a lot of humidity. and We found their bed and breakfast, which was called Blue Stem Bed and Breakfast, on the top of the only hill in Winfield. And we uh, introduced ourselves to our soon-to-be new friends, Ken and Madeline. And pretty promptly we said, what's a Blue Stem? Because that was the name of their establishment and I had never heard of it and I had no idea and Luke had no idea. So it turns out, well, Ken was a farmer and he told us all about blue stem. It's one of the natural prairie grasses that grows in that part of the country and it grows all the way up through the middle of the country. And when we met him, he was in the midst of letting his hundreds of acres of wheat go back to the natural prairie grasses to enrich the topsoil. So anyway, we played for seven people that day, almost one person per added hour of driving. But a lot of beautiful things came from that little decision, not the least of which was a friendship with Ken and Madeline. And we would drive and stay with them for a few days whenever we got near Winfield. And we had a visit planned several years ago, and we got the word from Madeline that Ken passed away from pneumonia a week before we were to arrive. So we wrote this song for Ken. This is called Blue Stem.
sometimes heavy as lead. Did they all fall away? Do you finally know? No more lightning and thunder. We all stare and wonder why you had to go. Fences left to mend. There are fields still left to tend. But it all goes back to Bluestem. Everything goes back to Bluestem. Amen. And the rain is falling. Thank you. We're going to do a couple more tunes, and then we'll finish it out. Um, so we have been working forever on and ever. our next CD, which um, is going to be an American Songbook CD, um, and it's going to be wonderful, really, really wonderful, and it will someday be finished. Um, so we were chatting about it um, when we did Matt's Mondays with Matt um, promo video. I don't know how many of you saw that, but that was a fun little thing we did last Monday. And he asked about it, and he said, are you going to play any of the songs from it? And we said probably not. We said no. But we are. We're going to do two of them for you. And uh, anything could happen. Because we've been working on these songs in the studio, which is great fun and we have all the tools at our disposal and we can do whatever we want and we are doing whatever we want and the record is going to be so beautiful and it's very hard to condense all of that into two people standing on stage live in front of you but we will do our best hmm. both these songs are in the same key hmm. for those keeping track how curious You can tell this. So this is a tune that was written by Cole Porter. There you go. We, uh, we have songs from all kinds of famous, famous songwriters, and then there's, there's a couple from a non-famous songwriter. But anyway, this one is by Cole Porter, and the legend goes, Cole Porter was um, at lunch with a friend of his, and he was boasting about how he could write a song about anything. And his friend said, well, I dare you to write a song about the next thing we overhear in this restaurant. This is that song. 
Ding dong. Hello? Uh, telegram for Madam of the House. Miss Otis regrets she's unable to lunch today. Madam, Miss Otis regrets she's unable to lunch today. She is sorry to be delayed, but last evening down in Lover's Lane she strayed. Madam, Miss Otis regrets she's unable to lunch today. So sorry, can't make it. When she woke up to find that her dream of love was gone. Madam, she ran to the man who had led her so far astray. And from under her velvet gown, she drew a gun and shot her lover down. Madam, Miss Otis regrets she's unable to lunch today. She's not gonna make it. So this next song is written by a non-famous songwriter who can't help herself. By the name of Bettman. <laughs> She's American and she writes songs. There you have it. Shall I just start it? Just, just do it. This may not 
Thank you. Thank you so much. We are going to do one last tune, and we invite the choir to join us on that. Thank you for being with us here today, and thank you for those of you who are watching via live stream. So nice to see your half faces again. Through my window. 